So, uh, Angie, welcome to Ron's place. Isn't it incredible? It's absolutely wonderful. It's so uh, <laughs> I've travelled all over the world to see places like this, and I never thought I would see it in my own hometown. It's just fantastic. So, uh, I just feel such a massive responsibility to do justice to my uncle Ron Gittins as an artist. Mm. So, uh, yeah, we've we've got hold of it, but okay, the next step. <laughs> okay, well, it's so important that you keep this environment because it's not very often that we uncover these outside of art and mm -hmm. um, environments that are created by an individual like Ron yeah. but for their own pleasure and he's almost created this fantasy world that it's only amazing. he inhabited. It's wonderful to hear that so few people have stepped across the threshold into this villa. Um, <laughs> It's just absolutely wonderful. So when you launch the crowdfunder, what are you hoping to achieve with that? Well, we want to be able to share it with people. Yeah. I mean, we need to spend some time rifling through the huge amount of stuff he left, the books, the photos and everything, and then just make it into a welcoming space for people in Birkenhead, but people further afield, anyone interested in art, outside I mean, art. I think to these environments, what we always see um, is that the biggest threat to these environments is time. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I think if the crowdfunder, if people can support the crowdfunder, that would be wonderful because it will buy you time to think about what you do with the villa, exactly. how you can get people in, mm -hmm. how you can have artists in residence here, how you and, can have and dinners inspire, here. Exactly, and inspire artists, Absolutely. writers. Historians, anyone, everybody who's walking past is going. Great. Well, it would be a, a desperate shame mm -hmm. um, if it was lost. So, good luck with the crowdfunding. Can't have please. a painted magnum. <laughs> and we have to hang on to the line fireplace. So, <laughs> please yeah. give very generously to this uh, crowdfunder so that this amazing place isn't lost. Uh, I was invited to come and look at Ron's work. I'm absolutely gobsmacked by the amazing, unique features that are in this house. It's such a unique set of art um, and it blows your mind really. It needs to be protected for the rest of society. I know Ron going back, absolutely fantastic guy, really really different, really different loving. Uh, told me amazing stories, absolutely amazing stories of cleaning his false teeth with oven cleaner. I think one of the most important things about my life is meeting Ron Gittings and as I look around I can see the character uh, come through in his artwork. The amount of work that's gone into to this is fantastic and he would create these wonderful costumes that he would put on and walk around the streets of Birkenhead. What people forget that Ron was, was, was a great orator and coming to his home today just really brings back those memories and now I can see um, in the flesh what he was referring to. He was a great source of uh, knowledge and he, a walking encyclopedia and this is just a fascinating insight into to Ron's life.